The trial for XXX Tentacion's passing started today on February 7th, 2023. XXX Tentacion passed away almost five years ago on June 18th, 2018. Right now, the main suspects are Michael Boatwright, Dedrick Williams, Trayvon Newsom, and Robert Allen used to be the fourth suspect before he pled guilty and started snitching on his three friends. Everyone was aware these are the main suspects as they have been arrested and sitting inside of jail for five years. This was all until today, as it was announced in the courtroom that Toronto rapper Drake, as well as Migos rappers, are becoming suspects as well. The defense attorney in the courtroom had this to say about Drake, as well as the Migos, on the first day of trial. Before X, he said, if anybody, it's Drake. And do you think that for one moment, here today, days after the event, two masked men, right? He came out on social media and said, guys, if anyone is straight, do you think in that time, time span that they went and they addressed him and talked to him? No. Do you think sitting here today, years later, any detective has ever asked, you know, Drake or, or anybody like that? No, they never did that. So you ask yourself, how could that be? And you say, hey, it's so-and-so, you better believe so-and-so is going to get investigated. But in this case, they didn't do it. They didn't do it because it didn't, it didn't comport with their version and their narrative. And as law enforcement, I think that they have the obligation to do so. Leave a like on the video if you're a fan of XXX Tentacion. I'm curious how many fans are watching today. Now, the defense attorney states, and I quote, XXX Tentacion said, if I ever were to pass, Drake did it. Now, this was actually during an Instagram live stream. Then later on, X even posted it on his Instagram story, where we saw X post, if anyone tries to get me, it was at Champagne Poppy, aka Drake. I'm snitching right now. Now, the famous XXX Tentacion and Drake beef started ever since X made a tweet stating, Drake's mom is kind of cute. After a few months went by, X would then be arrested, as well as X sitting inside of his jail cell. We saw his viral hit, Look At Me, going viral online in a huge way. Something that many of us have actually never seen before, as XXX Tentacion's music career reached insane heights. Now, Drake noticed this and released a song titled KMT, stealing the exact flow, speed, and even a similar beat of X's song, Look At Me. When X was then later released from jail after beating his charges, he went straight to an interview where he went straight after Drake, called him out for taking his flow and things in this nature. This started a massive beef online between X and Drake, and it even helped X's music career continue to skyrocket. However, after sadly XXX Tentacion passed away, Drake released another few songs with lyrics relating to X. Now, Drake released a song with these lyrics. Damn, maybe I should do a 20. Maybe I should break that 20, do a 10. Maybe I should break that 10, do a 5. Then if it gets live, do a 5 again. If he held his tongue on that live, he'd be live again, damn. Now, this could be directed towards anyone, but let me break this down for you. Now, if you break a 20, you get two 10s. Then do a five, and if it goes live, do a five again. Five plus five is another 10, leaving you with three sets of 10. Now, three sets of the number 10 in Roman numerals is three X's. Then at the end of the verse, Drake says if he held his tongue on that live, then he would be alive. And on Instagram, XXXTentacion, he made statements about Drake and his mother on Instagram Live, as I mentioned earlier. However, also in the courtroom, there was more evidence and video released of the day that X sadly passed. In case you forgot, on June 18th, 2018, XXX Tentacion's day started with him hopping into his custom all black BMW i8. X headed over to a motorcycle shop called Riva Motorsports, where the Florida rapper was looking around and checking out motorcycles. He found one that he really liked. He asked the price of the motorcycle and was told a price. X said to put the motorcycle on hold and he'll be right back, to which XXX Tentacion picked up his uncle before heading over to the Bank of America. At the Bank of America, XXX Tentacion withdrew $50,000 in cash and he stuffed it in a Louis Vuitton pullover bag. Today in the courtroom, this new footage of X getting the cash was released.
Also in the courtroom today, this statement was released regarding the banker that X was speaking with. Cecilia Ramos, the bank teller, was working at Bank of America the day X sadly passed. You see him smile and talk with the teller. He came into the bank and wanted to withdraw $250,000, but the bank didn't keep that kind of cash on hand. She gave him $50,000 and ordered the rest for a later date. Now, while at the Bank of America, XXXTentacion was spotted by a group of men. These four men noticed X's all black BMW i8 in the parking lot, then saw him exit the Bank of America and walk into his vehicle. Obviously, he was a very noticeable person, especially his famous i8. These four men are named Dedrick William, Robert Allen, Michael Boatwright, and Trayvon Newsom, the four suspects mentioned earlier. Now, they ended up tailing X's BMW i8 for the rest of the day. After the trip to the bank, X returned to Riva Motorsports where he was with his uncle. X was sitting in the parking lot at Riva Motorsports counting the cash given to him from the bank before heading inside of the bike shop. It's important to note that as while X was sitting in the parking lot, the four individuals that are suspects all went to the corner store and they bought ski masks and gloves. X then entered the motorcycle shop now with his uncle. Two of the men followed X inside of the store as here's surveillance photos of them entering the shop with X. The craziest part of it all is X actually makes contact with one of these individuals as caught on tape, where you can see XXXTentacion staring right at one of the suspects. Now, two of the men were planted on the inside to keep an eye on X and his uncle, just to see if he pulls out the cash, how much money is in there, and whether or not he leaves through a different entrance. Now, an hour goes by. XXXTentacion purchases the motorcycle he wants, but does not drive it home. He ends up leaving the motorcycle shop with the Louis Vuitton bag over over his chest. Mind you, all of the cash is still inside of the Louis bag. X then hops into the BMW with his uncle in the passenger seat. While trying to drive out of the exit, a minivan pulls up in front of X's BMW i8 blocking him from leaving the scene. Two men then hop out of the minivan and they both go on XXXTentacion's side of the vehicle. They both are holding firearms and demanding the Louis V bag that he had on him. While this is going down, XXXTentacion's uncle is seen opening up the door of the BMW and sprinting away, leaving X all by himself. The two individuals start yelling and demanding the bag of cash. X refused, which made the men very angry, leading into a small brawl through a window of a supercar, and then we all kind of know what happened after that. Today in court, it was revealed, and I quote, Prosecutor says Dedrick Williams was driving and cut off the car being driven by XXXTentacion. Michael Boatwright and Trayvon Newsom put on the ski masks and both had the firearms. The passenger manages to run away. The two approach X and Boatwright does the act towards X. Now, X did not have security with him on this day. He was a rapper who believed he didn't need it. He mentioned in many interviews that he liked to move by himself as well as with family members and his friends. But we also learned today in day one of the trial, X was not alone in the car. X's half uncle was inside of this BMW i8, as I mentioned earlier. Once the car was cut off, his uncle actually sprinted out of the vehicle and he mentioned in court today on the stand while running away from the scene his uncle pulls out his cell phone and starts calling XXXTentacion's mom saying there's an emergency going down and that they need to call the police and obviously there's very little that he could have done sitting in the passenger seat they had nothing they could protect themselves with so he was trying to just defend his own life which is why he ran but leaving him in a situation like that all by himself it just doesn't sit right with me now the four individuals that were seen today in the courtroom, it was documented they were all caught and arrested very fast. It only took the law enforcement one month to catch all four of these men that were all on the run, trying to hide the best that they could. Dedrick Williams was charged with first degree and even tried applying for bail, which obviously he was denied on. Williams ended up pleading non-guilty in this case, even though there's camera footage literally showing him do this act. Michael Boatwright was taken in for the exact same thing as Dedrick Williams, 
Williams, he is yet to plead guilty or not yet. The third man, Robert Allen, he was taken into lockup as well. He was actually located at his sister's house in the literal middle of nowhere in Georgia, which is very surprising how the feds even found him. He was booked in Dodge County. He's currently being held inside of jail, but it is important to note he did snitch and he's getting a lesser prison sentence. Now, I'm curious to know what you guys think. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. I'll be releasing a video every day giving updates on the trial. It's been District Trending and I'm out. Peace.